Developing at 4.30, we are learning a 62-year-old man is facing charges in a shooting that killed a 30-year-old. It happened last month in unincorporated Sanford. News 6's Catherine Silver joins us live from Seminole County with what she's learning about that investigation. We were the only crew here at the jail when Theodos Jones Jr. faced a judge for the first time this afternoon. He is facing a first degree murder charge after a man was found shot and killed inside a parked car in September. As to Theodis Jones Jr. stood in handcuffs in front of a judge Wednesday in Seminole County, nearly four weeks after a 30-year-old man was shot and killed on Roseberry Lane. I got on bond. You're out on bond. At Jones's first appearance hearing, he admitted he was out on bond for drug charges when he was arrested for the murder. Detectives in Seminole County say the murder investigation also appears to be drug related. They have not released further details about what happened or what links Jones to the crime. A crime line poster marks the end of the street where deputies found the victim, Cameron Alston, in a parked car close to a park. I've noticed. Um you know, just a couple things that just seem sketchy. David Jones and his wife live nearby. And we were cleaning the house and we heard the gunshot. Jones says he's relieved to learn an arrest has been made. I've been looking forward to it, uh, checking the internet every you know, couple of days to see if something, any kind of update. He hopes it will lead to justice for the victim and his family. I'm happy that it's getting taken care of and hopefully this is the last time. Theodis Jones Jr. is being held here at the jail without bond. His next court date is an arraignment set for November. I'm live in Seminole County. Catherine Silver getting results. News 6.